Hey babes, welcome or welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make treats for a dessert table, as y'all could see by the title. But I do apologize if y'all can hear me in the background. I was actually filming a little bit, but then I decided to do a voiceover, so don't mind me talking. I was just telling my boyfriend what I needed to buy, but we're actually gonna be buying Oreos, pretzels, marshmallows, and cake mix. Right now, I'm at Walmart and I'm just getting everything that I need. Once we're done with this, I'm going to go to Michael's and purchase something else. And then from there, we're just going to go home and I'll be showing you all everything that I bought along with the process of how I make my treats because I know that so many of y'all have been wondering how I make them. And there has been many of y'all that have actually texted me for help and asking me how I do them because people charge y'all too much or y'all are just too far from me and y'all can't buy anything from me so i hope you'll find this useful actually because this was recorded out of nowhere and i'm sorry if it's not the best recording i promise i'm trying my best to make it work for y'all but if you're interested in knowing more about this sweets business then keep on watching Before we continue moving on forward, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so and turn on the bell to be notified whenever we upload new videos. We actually upload every two days and like this video if y'all would like to see more content like this. I'll be more than happy to film anything y'all would like to know about me or how I do things. We're now arriving to Michael's, but I'm not going to be recording anything for y'all because I'm only getting one thing and I'm just going to be getting off by myself, running to get that and coming back to the car so that we can go home and start this order ASAP. Okay, so now that we're home, I have everything set up already. I have everything ready. I gathered all of the supplies that I needed and my piping bags. And I'm just so ready to start this order. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. I'm going to be showing you everything that I bought at Walmart first. I only bought one thing at Michael's, but I'm going to show you all the rest. I did buy a cake mix because I do have to make cake tops. And I also have to make chocolate covered Oreos. So today we're going to be making chocolate covered Oreos, cake pops, chocolate covered pretzels, and chocolate covered marshmallows. And these are the marshmallows that I found. These are the hugest marshmallows I could find. I don't know if y'all can see them, they're like giant. I also got a bag of pretzels, which are pretzel rods, and this is the one that I got. This is the one that I usually get from my orders, literally. I also got some popsicle sticks, like treat sticks, and I do have some already, but they are like the long ones that are like paper straws, so I decided to get these instead because my treats will have like gold colored decor. So I decided to get these because they match and it's going to be useful for the marshmallows and the cake pops. And they're smaller, like a smaller version. And they're hard. It's not like the paper ones. So these are pretty cool. I forgot how much they are, but they're like $4 or something. The rest of this stuff is just chocolate bags. I got um like about three or four of these. I got three of the pink bags and then I got one white one because I already have some white chocolate in my house from my previous orders and I got two of these green ones which are new for Michaels I did get these molds I was trying to get the smaller ones for the Oreos but this is the only one that they had and this was about $12 I believe with tax because Michaels is expensive I got this at Michaels too this was from a different order but I don't know if y'all can see it has like numbers and everything and I was gonna need the number two so I'm definitely going to be using this probably. I do not know yet because I'm supposed to make these treats my own way. My client didn't tell me what exact designs they wanted. They just told me they wanted like a jungle safari themed um, dessert table. And so 
I just got my little cupcake holders for my treats. I have like different sizes and colors. And my edible luster desk, which is right here. I'm actually going to be using the gold one for this one. I also have my piping bags for the chocolate. These are the ones that I use and these are great. I re definitely recommend those if you're starting a business or you already have one. I got two treat boxes because I'm going to be putting all the treats in there. I did order these from Amazon. They are moves. Like, this is like a safari theme leaf. And these are jungle animals. I don't know if I can see. I can like definitely get the hang of it, right? So let's go ahead and get started with all this. Before I forget, I forgot to mention that I did grab Melanie this little muñequita. It's like a Chelsea Barbie. And this is the one that my boyfriend chose for her because she's like had a really tough and rough week lately. And today hasn't been a her day either. So we decided to get her a little something. She's actually been playing with my bait my sister's um muñequitas that are this size and they're also Chelsea dolls. So I decided to get her her own now that she doesn't really play with baby toys. She only likes like big kids' toys. So I got her that one. Wait, let's get on to this video. So now that I begin recording, I'm sorry if y'all can't see my face later on throughout the video. But first things first, get your gloves ready and I'm getting the containers ready to put my chocolate in. I actually stole these containers from my mom. I don't know where she got them at or anything, but I use these for my chocolate. And right now I'm just going to pour all of them in there. So this is the white chocolate that I was talking about that I already had at home and I'm just adding the new one in there. But now that I have them ready, I'm going to heat them up in the microwave and I actually heat them up for three times. The first two for 35 seconds and then for 30 seconds at last so that you can get the best consistency in chocolate. As y'all can see, it's like really beautiful. I'm going to start off by making the figures and I have my molds ready. I just have to add the chocolate in my piping bags and these piping bags are really good. I actually got them off of Amazon, but I don't know what the brand is called. I'm just going to be adding them in there and showing y'all how I fill the molds in and get them ready. Now that I have the bags ready with the chocolate inside of them, I'm just going to cut the tip. And you're only supposed to cut a small part of it because otherwise all of the chocolate is going to like get out whenever you try to squeeze the bag. So I recommend for you to just cut a little bit of it. That way a thin line comes out of it and it doesn't mess up your figures. So I'm going to take a break right now and I'm just eating this Taco Bell quesadilla that my brother got us because we were actually watching a movie while I was filming this, which is another reason why I didn't film my voice in it. But now that I'm done with my break, I got to put new gloves on and get ready to start dipping our pretzels in. But as y'all can see, I'm using a small container. So what you're going to do is dip your pretzel in there and as you can see, not all of it is going to get covered. So you have to use either a long enough container or just use your spoon to cover up the rest of it. Otherwise, not much is going to cover up. But my chocolate was drying up fast. So as y'all can see, I, c I was having trouble covering up the pretzel. It looked clumpy and that's not how it's supposed to look. So... I kept mixing it and every time you dip a pretzel please mix your chocolate again that way it doesn't continue doing the same to the rest of your treats once I finished dipping them I'm just gonna place them on a tray but I actually covered the tray with plastic wrap always cover your items your like your dishes and everything with plastic wrap before placing a chocolate covered treat Otherwise, at the moment of taking it off the pan, it's going to break or it's going to get stuck to the pan or whatever you're using and everything's going to go wrong. Now that y'all saw how I dipped the pretzels, I'm going to move forward and show y'all how they turned out. I actually already put them in the freezer. You do have to put them in the freezer for five minutes 
for them to freeze up. But now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my Oreos. You do have to add some chocolate to the base of each mold. And once you do that, you can now start placing your cookies in the center. Please try to place them in the middle as much as you can because otherwise you don't want the cookie to be on one side and then the other side to have chocolate only. That way people can have a better taste of them. But now that I did that, I'm gonna go ahead and add more chocolate on top to cover that up and finish off my Oreos. I was probably adding too much chocolate but make sure you know what you're adding and be aware of the quantity that you need because otherwise you're going to make a mess. Once you have added the chocolate, just shake the mold until it's flat. And like I said before, place them in the freezer for five minutes. I had already placed them in there. Now that I took them out, I'm now taking them out of the mold. And this is how you take them. You have to be patient and you have to take them out slowly because they could break even if they're hard and thick, they could still break. I'm going to go ahead and start drizzling my pretzels. And I'm going to do it on top of the same container that I was using to dip them in. That way the chocolate can go back in there because it's clean chocolate that we can still reuse. And I'm just going to drizzle them slowly the way I want them to be and just place them on top of the tray carefully because we don't want the drizzle to get ruined or anything and just place them a little bit distance from each other that way they don't stick together because if chocolate does run off it can stick to the second one next to it and we don't want that to happen otherwise it's going to ruin the design. So I finished drizzling my chocolate covered pretzels now and I'm going to go ahead and start adding the figures. I already finished making all of them and I already painted them with glitter dust. As y'all can see, it's all over the place. But this is how I'm going to put them. And don't judge, I actually did wash my hands for this process because it's really hard for me to add the little figures with gloves on since the gloves are loose and could stick to the chocolate and then you could already imagine it's gonna make a whole mess so i rather use my bare hands but like i said i did wash them i'm just not going to be showing y'all every time i wash my hands just use the same chocolate and stick them on there but this is how they turned out i just need the last two to finish them okay guys so i decided to put the flash on for y'all but i'm already done with to with half of the order and i did do the pretzels and the oreos so later on i'm gonna be doing the chocolate covered marshmallows and the cake pops since i do have to run to the store and get more chocolate and this is how they turned out i just did the little safari theme and the leaves and then the animals with the number two on it because it is a second birthday of course it's like a too wild theme and so that's how everything turned out. I believe they look so freaking cute because I had never done anything like this. And like the color in person is actually better because it looks like a bright pink. I don't know if you can start to tell now that I'm like pulling the camera away from the treats. It's like y'all can definitely see the color. But that's what I made. <laughs> Why you look mad? I'm sorry, the trick is dirty. That's my boyfriend's work trick. Um, we're actually on our way to get more chocolate because I ran out of it last night. But I look so busted because I literally slept like at four something and it's 10 and I just woke up again. So, yeah. But we're on our way to do that. And my plans are to get the treats done by one or two because I only need the chocolate covered marshmallows and the cake pops no see 
I now have the cake baking and I just followed the instructions in the box and put it to 350 degrees. I'm cooking it for 35 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm preparing myself to continue on with this. And I'm actually going to start doing the marshmallows right now. Whenever you do these, you have to dip the stick into the chocolate and then add it into the marshmallow. That way it can stick and have a good hold to them like a good grip whenever you hold them and that way they don't fall off whenever you try to eat them so just stick the stick in the chocolate shake it a little bit and just stick it in there however you can so i'm gonna go ahead and make some more with y'all and then after y'all are finished with this put it in the freezer for five minutes i will be doing that off camera and i will be shaking the cake for y'all on camera that way y'all can see that it's ready and we're ready to make the cake pops but i'll be back with y'all whenever we have to dip the whole marshmallow in the chocolate so i just took the cake out and we're gonna see if it's ready like i already checked it but as you can see, it's done. Nothing else comes out of it. But we're going to go ahead and leave it sitting for 10 minutes. And then we're going to come back to make the cake balls. Technically, the dipping process for every treat is the same. But for marshmallows and cake pops, I did want to show you all that you don't have to shake the marshmallow like with like standing up. Porque... It's literally going to cause the marshmallow to get heavy because of the chocolate on it. And it's actually going to fall off the stick. So I recommend you to shake the chocolate off like the excess off. But flipping it over, like turning it around slowly as you do it. Otherwise, like I said, the marshmallow is going to fall off because of the weight. Making treats is really easy once you know how to make them because technically after this step we have to place them back in the fridge for another five minutes for the chocolate to freeze. So it's technically just repeating all steps over and over again. I'm going to be showing y'all how I make my cake pops and I have my tray ready right here. I'm actually just going to start like smushing all of this together. Lo voy a hacer en boronitas because of course you have to have crumbs to make cake balls cake pops whatever so i'm just going to use a glove to touch all of this because of course we don't want any bacteria in it and besides that i have to wash my hands always so don't worry okay so now that i have it like this Right. Um, usually I use a spoon, but I'm just going to use my hand because, I mean, I'm not going to use this anymore after this. So I'm just going to take some of this frosting out. Just use regular frosting. I'm using this one. And you're just going to mix it in the bread. Like, just mix it around. And then this helps the um, bread get thicker and pasty, sticky. That way, whenever you make your cake balls, it's easier to, for them to stay together and not break. Some people do use chocolate, like the one you use to dip your strawberries and your treats. But I found this method useful better than the other one. I actually saw this method from a professional at treats. So, this is the one that I've been using. Like It tastes more like cake with this. So... Here's what the meaning of cake pops are. It has to taste like cake. Pero que no está tan aguado, otherwise you're not going to be able to do your cake balls. It just has to harden. It's still kind of like hot porque de la oven. But I'm working with what I can. Meanwhile, I wait for the marshmallows to freeze and then I'm gonna start adding the little decorations the same way I added them to the Oreos and the pretzels. Okay, so I don't know if y'all can see this, like it's like hard and like 
stuck together like una thick consistency and hard i don't know if y'all can see that but i guess i'm pretty much done with this so i'm just gonna go ahead and put it to the side to let it cool a little bit more because it's still hot like i said i'm just gonna take my glove off and throw it away because i do use new gloves each time and then this I'm gonna throw it to the trash because we no longer need that. And let me do this right, right here, but let me bring out the marshmallows for y'all. That way y'all can see what they're looking like. I already drizzled some of the marshmallows and I drizzled them with pink. So y'all will barely be able to see them, but I'm gonna drizzle the rest with green chocolate. And then I'm gonna start applying the items. I'm gonna start applying the little details and all that, so just drizzle them the way i showed you how to drizzle the pretzels it's literally the same thing I'm just gonna let them dry up for a little bit and then I'm gonna start doing the cake pops for now. Like the cake pops. So I'm just gonna put this aside and let it dry. Oy. Okay. I'm just gonna leave them there to the side. So we're just gonna put our gloves on and we're gonna start taking little balls. I actually have a mold for the cake pops, but I'm not gonna be using it feel like this method is easier but you're just gonna make them into little bolitas and you're just gonna place them in your tray okay. here's my bolita your little bolitas don't have to be perfect if you do find it difficult and you want to use a mold Go ahead and purchase it they actually sell it at walmart for like six dollars and it makes five cake pops at a time i did sell mine because i did have a bakery sale so i no longer have it but i decided not to buy it because i actually find it harder to make it in the mold than to do it by hand This is what my little bolitas look like and I'm about to start inserting the sticks in them. So I'm probably going to do half green and half pink cake pops. I don't know which color to do them so I'm just going to do half and half. I'm just going to go ahead and take my stick, dip it in the chocolate like this and you're just going to insert it inside of the cake ball all the way down but not to where you reach the bottom. Now the other one half and half it is yes if y'all see me not using any gloves it's either because i have washed my hands or because i will not be touching the treats so don't think that i'm just touching the treats or messing with them with dirty hands because i'm not Adding the little palitos is so easy, just like I showed you how to make the marshmallow ones. And since I did the green ones, I'm now going to do it with the pink ones. But it's literally the same process, guys. Same with the dipping. Y'all will see that it's the same exact thing.
Now that they're ready, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the freezer so that the chocolate and the steak can stick together to the cake. So let me go ahead and do that. And you're just gonna leave them there for five minutes. Okay, so now I'm ready to apply my decals to my marshmallows. And I'm gonna be using the pink chocolate to blend it with the color of the marshmallow. And I'm gonna be putting the leaves, the big leaves. I'm gonna be putting them to the ones that have the pink drizzle and then the animals, I'm gonna add them to the green ones. So, always look for the best looking side, which is, mine's this one, so I'm just gonna stick it right here. That's a big tip. So just hold it for a little and then Yay, this is how the marshmallows turned out and I'm so happy with the outcome because after all, this is definitely worth the seeing your work and everything. Like they're so freaking beautiful, so freaking nice and definitely like jungle themed or safari themed, however you want to call them. But it's now time to repeat the same process on the cake pops. I already have new chocolate ready for them. And yes, I love showing y'all how freaking liquidy this chocolate is. It's so freaking nice. I love it. We're about to be done guys. I have the trash can in front of me because I'm gonna be drizzling on the trash can of course. So I'm gonna grab my pink cake pop and then I'm gonna drizzle it with the green. I think my phone has recorded too much and it stopped the video, but I already started drizzling them as you can see. I'm currently drizzling the pink ones and I have the trash can in front of me. So we're just going to drizzle. And I don't know if it's because the phone is too hot or because I have no more space in my phone, but I'm gonna stop the video right here and I'll get back with y'all whenever I'm done drizzling them and placing the last few little monitos on there. I finished the last half of the treats and this is what the final look looks like. It's so cute. I made like half with the monitos and half like regular. Just to have something different. Not all of them with little monitos. And I believe it turned out super cute. It's my little cake pops. Here's part one of the dessert table order that I made. And this is what we made last night. The pretzels and the chocolate covered Oreos. And then here's the second part. And don't mind the little like holes right there, the dents and all that. It's because of the mold. Like the mold wasn't helping us in some parts because as y'all can see, these are like perfect. And those three are like a little bit messed up, but they still look cute regardless and i'm so happy with the outcome 
This is what we made today. And I think it looks super cute. I was no longer able to record after this, so I did not get the chance to close the video. But thank y'all so much for supporting. I really hope y'all enjoyed watching this and found some useful tips out of it. See y'all on the next one, babes.